I saw these on a high-end site and I thought I could definitely recreate them. You're gonna need two jars. I'm using the orange ones. You're also going to need a black paint pen. I love any project where I can be creative. I started by drawing some ovals down vertically on my jars. Then I went back in and put hash marks all the way around. Let these jars sit out and dry. Now with my other jar, I decided to create some wavy lines. This was really fun to do, but you could do any design, any pattern that you want. For the lids, I'm gonna use two stems that I had from another pumpkin. I'm gonna hot glue those to my jars. I'm gonna spray paint the lids with two coats of a black spray paint. I'll just add the lids to my jar and here's how they turned out. I was so excited to find the acorn beads this year at Dollar Tree. They're gonna be such a popular item. I have a great DIY for them. I'm gonna be creating a garland with my acorn beads. So I need to start by drilling a hole into the bead. So I'm gonna use my drill and drill a hole. I'm gonna split my beads into two categories. With half of the beads, I'm going to dye them with a navy color. Then I'm going to put in half of my acorn beads, close the lid, and I'm gonna kind of shake them up. I let them sit in this container for about 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes was up, I put the acorns out on a plate so that they could dry completely. I didn't rinse them or do anything to them. I let them dry overnight came back the next day and now it's time to add them to my garland. So I'm gonna be using twine for this DIY. I tied it in a knot at the end of the twine and then I'm gonna place the beads onto my twine. So I used five dark beads and then switched to five natural beads. And then I went back and forth until I used up the majority of my beads. Once I got to the end, I tied those in a knot as well. These beads would work great for a fireplace or centerpiece. So when I was strolling through Dollar Tree, I came across these wood frames with wood beads. I almost lost my mind. I was so excited that Dollar Tree had these. So I picked up three of them and knew that I had to do a fall project with these. Now they just seemed really neutral. So I wanna kind of stick with that neutral tone. So I took the backs off of them. Then I was looking around Dollar Tree for some craft paper. I couldn't find it, but I did find this wrapping paper and on the back it was plain. So I just grabbed this and I'm going to trace around the craft paper, cut it out, and I'm gonna hot glue it to the base of these frames. Next, I pulled out my Cricut Joy, which if you guys have been watching any of my videos, it's my favorite Cricut. I can easily create something on my phone and then print it on my Cricut Joy. So I went on my phone and I just grabbed three images of pumpkins. I measured the frames and determined I didn't want any of them to be longer than four inches. I resized all of the pumpkins to be around four inches. I sent them to my printer and cut them out on a white smart vinyl. Next, I'm just gonna pull those Cricut decals off and I'll place them onto the craft paper. Then I'll just simply put the backings of the frames back on. And you can see how cute these look in a grouping of three on my wall. I 
found these adorable name cards at Dollar Tree that are perfect for fall. I wanted to create them for my fall table. So all I did was I went into my Cricut design space, put in the names that I wanted to cut out, sent them to cut, and then the vinyl that I'm gonna be cutting on is Black Permanent Vinyl by HTV Rond. I'm gonna place that vinyl onto my mat, cut it out, then I'm gonna weed it out. The cool thing about the HTV Rock vinyl is it actually comes with transfer paper. So after I weed it out, I can put the transfer paper on top and then pull off the backing and place it onto my name cards. really wanted to set up a fall table. I'm gonna show you how you can do it super inexpensively. I like to start with the centerpiece. Find like a big statement item. These are some pumpkins I've had for years. They're from a store called Old Time Pottery if you're from Kansas City. I'm gonna put three in the middle of my table. Next, let's add a little bit of height. I love using these candle sticks. These are thrifted and you can add in some tapered candles. Inexpensive greenery, that's the key to really elevate any centerpiece. Hide your stems underneath your candles as well as your pumpkins. How cute are these fabric pumpkins? I'm gonna add these around. It's just gonna give a little bit more texture and detail. Liz, do you have an order to where you're placing the pumpkins or are you just placing these randomly? I don't want them to look like every other color. So you want it to look a little bit random, but another thing I like to do, like for instance here, there's kind of a hole in my greenery. So that kind of fills in that hole. So just kind of place them around until you think it looks good. Like I really don't feel like I need any more, so I'm not gonna add them. So don't feel like you have to add all the pumpkins. Now my place settings are gonna be so simple. I'm gonna use these Dollar Tree charger plates. I'm gonna use my Dollar Tree plates. It's gonna be really simple. Liz, what are you going to put on these cute little pumpkin trays? I thought these would be great to add just a cute little treat. So I have one that takes less than a minute to put together. What you're gonna need are some vanilla wafers, Hershey Kisses, chocolate chips, and a little bit of icing. So pick out a vanilla wafer, add some icing to the back of it. Then you're gonna add your Hershey's Kiss, flip it over, put a little bit more icing on the top, add in your chocolate chip, then you have an adorable little acorn. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibwick DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.